Okay, boys and girls. Um, as you can see, I had a bit of fun today at the uh, uh, Antiques Fair and Bottle Show and auctions. Um, yeah, splashed out a bit today. Bought a few bits and pieces. Um, very, very happy. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a bit of a rundown of some of the things I've bought. Um, probably one of my favourite ones is this here. It's a share certificate for a gold mine. The Wealth of the Nations mine. So it's pretty cool. I really enjoy collecting this sort of stuff. Dated here, yeah, 1922. So that was pretty cool for 100 shares. But yeah, so that was a pretty good buy. Um, lovely little silver Vesta case. Little striker on the bottom. All marked for silver. So, from what I can see there, it's definitely silver. Looks like it's to be made in Chester. I've still got to research the actual letter there to see what date it is and also the uh, maker's mark there but yeah it's pretty cool all in good working order and quite tidy um, nice clay pipe but with a bent stem so that's pretty cool I don't see many of those or well, I haven't seen many of those so yeah bought five boxes of chemists all Christchurch chemists um, in an auction today and then off the table off the selling tables uh, all the displayers I grabbed myself a bunch of soft drinks so Lamont's and Cod's um, yeah so that's what I see in there Ballons at the start there a couple of Robinsons a Lister an Ellingford the small Alexander and a Fraser. So that was pretty cool. So that'll all go into my collection. Um, now, all of these chemists are Christchurch chemists that I definitely don't have or that will replace ones I have because they're much nicer. Um, this pile here are ones I'm pretty sure I don't have, but I do have to double check. I'm not entirely sure, not 100% sure. And they're all my swapsies. So, yeah. So they're all the ones that I definitely do have. And we'll be swapping or getting rid of. Or selling. Yeah, so. All in all, it's been an absolutely awesome day. Um, I don't really get much footage of the show itself because I was so busy. Um, having a look around. That was my first one ever. <laughs> so I was like a kid in a candy shop. There was just too much to see and too much to do. So yeah, pretty happy. Pretty happy. So now I've got to go through and um, sort out my shelves. Um, make some new ones to fit the rest of what I've just bought. And um, yeah. So we'll go and we'll, we'll have a look at all my shelves. And these bottles will amazingly be on display so yeah enjoy alrighty and look at that we are back and hey look those bottles are all on display so I'll move in um, we'll start up the top now um, so yeah I've got a few soft drinks now Nice J Manning in the corner there. A couple of Ballons, Saunders, Alexanders. So, so that's a Hill. A couple of Robinsons. A couple of Listers. Allingford, Fraser. Are the ones that I got in the auction. Small Fuller, a couple of Lee and Evans. 
couple of mice, a Wilshaw, a Griffiths, and a Bruce. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Just come down to the, um, come down to all my chemists. Some are unclean, some are clean. Um, I'll sit down one day and I'll actually drop a lot of them in some acid and get them really nice and shiny and clean. But I am now up to 270 Christchurch chemists. Um, so, yeah. It's quite cool. Um, got some quite big collections of actual makers. Um, Lots of Wallace, I have a huge collection of Wallace now, um, Bonningtons, uh, Lowesby's, a big collection of Lowesby's now, um, EA Hall, uh, Pepperl, got a big collection of Pepperl as well, so, but yeah. Just sort of keeps on going there. Pretty hard to sort of see the names on there, but it gives you a bit of an idea. So, yeah. Big fat lows be at the bottom there. So, they're pretty much all lows be right across the bottom there to that big one. Um, it changes over. Dr. Townsend's. Yeah. And some are hiding in here as well. Some Price. CW Price. Here's my Paprols. They're all. The Paprols there. And then we come around the corner, and because of what I bought. I have um, slightly altered this um, cabinet so that fits uh, that fits another 90 in there now so, so that's pretty cool so I've put some slightly better ones in here the coloured ones um, so I'll start right up the top there all the Bonningtons Pretty plain, um, and down to the nice ice blues. Learned has amethyst there. It's a real nice coloured one. That one. It's got a really deep amethyst. A nice blue Bonington there. Quite stoked with that. It's a lovely bottle. Um, then down to my Wallace. Again, I've got a nice big display of Wallace, so I've got that one there. Apparently that is um, one of only two known, so that's pretty cool. Um, and my lovely green Wallace. I was hoping to pick up another one of those at the auction, but yeah. Got outbid, and there was no way I was going to get it. <laughs> But that's all right. So install Wallace's. And down to Barnett's again. A nice big collection of Barnett. Goes right across there. Yeah, lovely cool bottle there. I picked that one up at the auction too. Um, it's actually almost lime green. It's quite cool. Um, yeah, and then down to bottom of the thing, Cook and Ross. Nice amber one there. And across to you know, WP Town End. So yeah, there you go. That's a bit of a tour of my chemist collection. 
I do like the chemists. Um, there's the embossing, and there's such a variation in them, and there's so many of them. So, yeah. There you go. So cool. Oh, there are some crown tops up the top there, but you don't want to see those. So there you go. That is my chemist collection so far. Yeah, with a huge big boost from the uh, auction. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, happy hunting out there. Catch ya.